Yo, what is up everybody? This is Steve with Bama Salt Water Fishing. My buddy Malik's coming over and we're about to hit out the Gulf again, try to go find us some king mackerel. Absolutely love this time of year for it. Tarpon's good this time of year as well, but I really love catching them king mackerel. I just want to show you what I'm using real quick and then I'll see you on the water. This is a size 14 Rapala Saltwater X Wrap in the black and silver color. You see I catch a lot of fish on that one. It's got some character, which I like. <laughs> I do a haywire twist. This is a wire that I use right there. Toothproof AFW, 44 pound number five. And you want it in the brown color. So you do the haywire twist real easy. Come up, I like 12 to 18 inches a liter. Another haywire twist to the smallest, most powerful black barrel swivel you can use. This is a little Spro power swivel. My other setup I like to use, this is for free lining bait. I'm gonna do the same thing with this size two Gamagatsu, four extra strong, treble hook simple setup y'all but i hope this helps you in your rigging next time you go fishing y'all we have launched heck yeah check it out flick out here today complete opposite the last time i came out heck yeah y'all we just made it out to the first place we're going to fish it's going to be noisy because this is an active production platform for natural gas got malik out there with a cigar minnow i'm going to put a cigar minnow on but y'all check it out pretty cool place to fish a lot calmer than last time Saw a lot of sharks coming out, a lot of dolphin. Let's we'll see if we can actually find us something we can keep. I'll take this frozen cigar minnow. Once it thaws out, I can straighten it out so it looks more natural. But I like to take this size two king hook, go through that hard part in the head, just like that. Now my setup is advanced all 150 on a seven foot medium heavy power G Loomis saltwater rod. So what I like to do is take this cigar minnow, make a long cast, just like that and I like to let it sink out of sight five to eight feet or so once it sinks out of sight we're reeling my slack give it a couple twitches and then let it sink again I'm gonna work this cigar minnow back to me Malik just hooked up think it's Spanish don't feel big that's fun isn't it oh yeah Boy, are we probably a minute in yeah not long <laughs> See what he is. And man, he was deep, wasn't he? Deep. No, juvenile king. <laughs> there you go. He ain't gonna be a keeper, but it's a kingfish. So there's a nice king mackerel. You can tell by the colors, but see that sharp drop in the lateral line? He may look like a Spanish and have the dots, but that's a king mackerel and he has to go back because he's not 24. So, good job, man. Uh, he only has one in him, so it should be easy to get out. There he goes. Heck yeah, he didn't get skunked. No. <laughs> Good deal. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. Oh, there he is. Uh, uh, got him. Mm, not yet. Mm. He's coming around. I haven't seen color yet. I think it's another juvie king. See him? It is. Yep. <laughs> That's fun, man. He would actually be a keeper. In... Mm. There we go. Ah. Yeah, yesterday was kind of rough. I did. I did. It was crazy. <laughs> It was, it was good fishing, it was just rough. <laughs> the guy on the rig was talking to me, that's awesome. Probably watches the channel. That's not a bad little kingfish, Malik. There we go, nice king mackerel. So we're gonna let him go. Mm. There he yeah, goes. Got, got another frozen cigar minnow. Get it back out. I like to throw up current and then just work it as it drifts with the current it looks more natural that way a lot of times if you're bottom fishing you can do the same technique just cast it behind you set it in the rod holder loosen that drag and have you a bait out there it's a great way to pick up an extra snapper or mahi or any of that if i'm doing that typically i like to have a circle hook set up on it oh dude that sucker smoked that cigar minnow there <laughs> <laughs> I think. 
Oh, I think that was a king, don't you? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, something's trying to eat it, dude. I think a cuda. I think something just bit it in half. Yeah, it don't feel as heavy anymore. Or it's just swimming towards me. Yeah, it's just swimming towards me. Here it is. <laughs> That's a nice one. Heck yeah. Yo, we got another king. That one would most likely be a keeper. They only have to be two foot long. We're gonna let him go. He's gone, he swim back. That was fun. Looking for one just a little bit bigger. So that's exciting. I love when they hit it. Y'all spraying down the boat from that last king and Malik just hooked up. I hope it's a big Spanish, is it? Nope. No, he's a little king, a little bit smaller. Man, that would be a great size if he was a Spanish Mac. Oh man, if he was a Spanish Mac. Heck yeah. That'd be sweet. So Malik landed that king. I'm gonna give me another cigar man out. Try to find one that's not a, a little schooly size, even though those are the best eating ones, in my opinion. But I would like to get a big trophy. Ooh, Got him. There he is. Think it's not a schooly size. Is it? Dude, it's crazy how fast they swim towards the boat. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think he's a keeper. I'm gonna keep this one. This one will actually taste pretty good. That's a Spanish. That's a freaking Spanish. That's a big Spanish. Y'all, this is what you call a Spanish mackerel. You see me catch these a lot. This is one of the better sized ones. So what I call an ax handle Spanish. But if you ever seen an ax, they're just long and skinny. That's what this joker is. See that? This is a legal fish. There's no minimum size limits here in Alabama. Delicious eating fish right there. And a perfect size too. So I'm gonna throw him in the cooler. Let's get another cigar man on. This is so fun doing this. There we go. Just like that. Let's see if we can catch us another fish. Yeah. It was me. <laughs> yes, sir. I was out here yesterday, but the conditions were uh absolutely yeah it was, it was terrible. dude it was kind of dangerous did you i got a 30 pounder here yesterday oh, wow. and i actually limited out on king so i left him biting but even at four miles an hour my boat was coming out of the air yeah. so but yeah. at least the fishing was good but that's awesome man oh, yes sir appreciate you <laughs> good luck all right some cool viewers came up said what's up it's always awesome love saying hi to everybody that watches these videos fish on yep <laughs> instant dude <laughs> i hope it's another big spaniard what does it look like to you spanish i see that black dorsal yeah he's hooked kind of weird uh yeah he's hooked all weird but it's a Spaniard. Check them out. That's an average size one there. This Spanish isn't quite as big as the first one I caught, but still a nice average size. He's gonna go in our cooler as well. What a great tasting fish. I love Spanish mackerel. Check it out. So that last Spanish really twisted up my wire. So I cut another piece of about 20 inch of wire. Here's my hook. Show you the quick haywire twist. Run it through, make a nice loop. To where the wires crossing each other at an x it's going to be kind of hard to see with the gopro and a moving boat but now you're going to twist it you don't really want to wrap it you want to twist so what i do is grab that loop and just pull it away and slide from me do about five twist see just like that then bring that tag in 90 degrees and that's where you're going to do your barrel wraps i like to do about five of them These are going to be tight together. You don't want them overlapping if, if at all possible. See that? Got my twist and the barrel wraps. Now, you don't need your cutters. All you do is go back and forth with this tag in. Make sure not to kink your main part of your wire. 
and after a few times you'll feel it kind of loosen up and now you have that tag in that's cut off very clean twist right there to where you have nothing poking you so i'm gonna do the same thing on my barrel swivel and get another cigar minnow out there we go again got that fresh leader on there a new frozen cigar minnow I'm telling you, you can catch anything practically that swims in the gulf of mexico on a frozen cigar minnow all right let's get another cast out throwing lures is another exciting oh instant <laughs> yeah instant dude I was trying to say throwing lures is a very exciting different way of catching these fish. If you didn't bring any cigar minnows out, you can throw an extra app. And just like that, you can hook up when they're here. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, what was that? That was a big king that just smoked you. I've got one here. All right, we found Puppy City here. School again. I think it's another little schoolie king. Yeah, I think so. That's what it is. Yeah. Whoa. That's Spanish? That's, that's a Spanish. That's a freaking Spanish. Bring them in, dude. Malik. Bring them in. Y'all, check out Malik with a beast of a Spanish. That's like the one I caught a little bit earlier. Maybe a couple inches longer. It's a good eating fish there. See how distinct that big, long, tall dorsal fin is? So great fish right there. Good cool. job. He looked at me, did that? <laughs> yeah, I did. That's a good eating right there. Oh, there it is. I Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This fish feels a little nicer. You see him out there? He's coming towards, he's shooting the boat. That's another Spanish. Look at him. Another nice Spanish mackerel. Let's get another bait out there while the bite's hot. Malik's hooked up immediately after I was. Yeah, it is. Is that a king? King. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I said it's There you go. So instead of frozen cigar minnow this time, we managed to sabiki up some live scaled sardines, pilchard, white bait. Depends where you're from of what you call it. But it's one of these, I call them LYs. I've added a stinger hook to mine. So hook it in the lip. Make sure you don't hit that brain because it defeats the purpose of using a live bait. So here goes the live bait out there. See if we can find a little bit bigger king. Is he bad in the ring? Lift it up. Oh man. Is it rubbing? Is it a barracuda? Oh wow. That's a big one. Y'all look at that barracuda. I don't want to kill them because they ain't no good for us. But it would be cool to bring them in the boat. That's a big one. Check them out. Yep. Hey, my up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> At least we can get a picture with them. Oh, that's freaky looking. Ain't it? Slap. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah, they are freaky looking. That's freaking cool, though. Oh, look at this barracuda mallet just caught. We netted them, so we're going to let them go. They can be full of uh, cigaterra, cigaterra. Yes. I'm butchering that word. I'm going to have to cut your leader. That's fine. Go ahead. Without getting bit. Bit. <laughs> I thought you were you about to get bit right there. I did. He got my finger. Oh, he, he, he got you. Oh, yeah. my God. Not bad. Not bad. So, <laughs> I've already been bit. Malik doesn't want to get bit. I don't blame him. But this is Malik's fish. Super cool barracuda. We're going to jet him down in the water. And he's gone. <laughs> I don't blame you for not wanting to hold him. Uh, 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 he got my finger pretty good. That's just uh, part of the ball game. But we didn't want to gaff him. There's really no need to kill him. I'm not going to eat him. I know people across the world do. 
but uh that was fun wasn't it yeah <laughs> super <Show blood>. cool <laughs> Sue, was that mine yeah we blood brothers now <laughs> <laughs> at least i have a finger yeah <laughs> those are super cool fish though so i'm gonna get this li back out mallet landed nice cuda with minimal collateral damage <laughs> minimal <laughs> Cudas have some serious teeth. They come up and eat a lot of the king mackerel and Spanish mackerel we catch, which is crazy. I say little, but <laughs> I don't think it is. He smoked that live bait. I hope I can get to it. <laughs> Slowest, smooth, smoothest fast. Foul hooked. Big Spanish foul hooked? Oh my god. I can boat flip him. We'll take that. Just got a, another nice Spanish mackerel for the cooler on the live bait. You're allowed 15 of these Spanish per person here in the state of Alabama. So that is awesome. Good eating fish right there. Check out them teeth on him. Well, we had an awesome, awesome afternoon of fishing out here. Mallet got that really cool barracuda, the kings, big old Spanish. I got them big old Spanish and kings just fishing out here having fun. So we're going to leave the platform head back to the boat ramp we just made it back to the boat ramp malik uh grabbing my truck and we're gonna load up this boat that was a nice easy ride back it's a beautiful afternoon or i guess it's evening time 5 40 now here in fort morgan alabama mobile bay it's awesome awesome being out here so hope y'all enjoy this video so i will see y'all on the next bama saltwater fishing video if you have not subscribed yet and you enjoy this content simple educational fishing go smash that subscribe button down below love seeing the channel grow it's absolutely amazing so as always i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later y'all there's a big old hammerhead right here check that joker out He gone.